Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the time loop converter and uh, the, what the time loop converter does is it allows you to loop your animations. Um, so I'm going to be using a circle for our example here. And I'm just going to click on the origin point, go into its properties, right click, convert and click on time loop. Now the time loop converter gives us three properties. Well, four if you count the link here, but we already know that the link is pretty much the same as the origin. So we're going to be discussing these three. Uh, the first one is the duration. And this has to do with how long the animation lasts before it loops. So let me go ahead and just animate something here. Let me first well, I already removed the first keyframe. So yeah, let me just go and create an animation here. I'm going to stop at frame 24 here. I'm just going to come over here. Okay, so notice this problem right here. When I try to move my object over here, it actually snaps back to the left. I believe that is an error um, within the program, within Synfig. So it's not supposed to be like that, but if you, well, I'll, I'll have to ask about this, but if this is happening to you, um, what you can do is start at the end frame and then go to the first frame. By the way, it actually is animating, right? It's just that we we aren't able to see it um, on the second frame here when we when we drag it. So what I would recommend is to delete the keyframes. So I'm going to delete the both of these and start at the last keyframe here. So I'm going to go to frame 24, put my object there, and then come back to the first one here and move to here. And then we can see the animation, All right? So if that happens to you, just do it like that. Let's get into some of these things. So yeah, the duration is how long the animation lasts before it loops. So this is supposed to go from frame zero all the way to 24 before it begins to loop again. And it will just continue all the way down the timeline and loop. So you go to frame 24, goes back, loop, goes to frame 24, goes back, loop. Um, but one thing I want to point out is I've noticed that, for example, depending on what frame you're on or what frame you, you put the duration to be, it will either stop before that frame or after that frame. So right now we are using frame 24. So if we go to frame 23 here and then go to frame 24, we see it loops at frame 24. But let's say I change that value to something else like um, maybe frame 13. I'm going to put it there and go to, let me just put this right down to frame 13 like so. So watch what happens. If I go forward, we can see that it goes to frame 20, um, 13, but it actually loops on frame 14. So if I go to frame 14, boom, that's when it loops. So it, so depending on what frame you're on, right, it will either loop before the frame, before the duration frame or after, which is really weird. I don't think that is supposed to happen, but that is what's happening. I might have to research it and see, right? But just keep that in mind. So the link time is where the animation starts. So let's say we're on frame one here, frame two, frame three. So I'm gonna just put a marker here to know where frame three is. Uh, so if I go back to frame zero and I change the link time to frame three, it will actually jump to, to here, to frame three, and that's where our, our loop will begin. Well, that's where our animation will begin. And it will go all the way down and then loop. So that's the link time, where, the, where you want the animation to start. So let me change this back to zero. And the, the local time now is basically how many frames before the final frame that you want to loop. So, the, well, the, how many frames before the duration? So our duration is 13, so it lasts for 13 frames. So um, let's go to frame 13, and let's say we wanna go maybe one, two, three, four, maybe four frames before this frame right here. Let me set a marker like so, and 
So this is where um, four frames before the, dur the duration frame is. And let me go back to frame zero. If I change this now to frame four, we see it jumps directly to four frames before the, the end frame here. Well, the, the end, the duration end, All right? So that's what the local time does. And so it will start there and then it will go down and then loop. And when it loops, it will go all the way back to the front and then come all the way down and then just continue to loop. You can change these values and um, depending on your needs, what your needs are to get the, the loop, the desired loop that you want. Um, and yeah, that's basically what the, the time loop converter does. It loops your animation. So you can export this as a GIF or whatever it is that you want to export it as, as a video um, or whatever it may be. So yeah, also we, there's also a time loop layer. So there's a time loop here, layer here and it works pretty much the same way. Notice we have pretty much the same properties here. All right, so you can use a converter or the layer based on what you, your needs are. All right, so that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, MRD.